When I started writing um, The Way You Look Tonight, I wasn't really sure what it was going to be. Some people, when, when they write their novels, and obviously because of the book club that Judy and I do, we know a lot of writers, and, and everybody writes differently. Some people plot everything out on, on a board in front of them, spend months plotting the book before they start writing it. Others just dive in. Um, I'm sort of somewhere between the two. I do a little bit of plotting, not that much. Um, I kind of had a beginning, middle, and an end to the story, but I didn't know really what the vehicle was going to be. Uh, was it going to be a romance? Um, was it going to be almost historical fiction? In fact, it's a thriller. Uh, and I realised that very early on, it had to be a thriller, you, with a psychopath on the loose. And I have to say, I really enjoyed, really enjoyed writing it. In fact, the closing uh, chapters, um, I wrote probably in three days, uh, and on two occasions, I, I started writing at about nine o'clock at night at our place down in Cornwall. And I suddenly realised that daylight was coming through the windows, you know, it was six in the morning, because I was so absorbed in what I hope is a very fast, um, I hope, I hope you'll find exciting denouement which takes place over hours, and it really is a race against time, and there's a huge amount of jeopardy in it. Um, and right up until the end, you hopefully don't know what's going to happen. In a sense, I didn't really. I had a general idea, but not how it was going to happen. Um, and I really enjoyed it, so I've, I sort of feel I've probably, I maybe, maybe found my metier. I did enjoy the, the freedom to express a character's, the killer's, um, violence, and how that turns him on. Um, I, I, you know, it was a, almost a sort of a, a drift into a dream world, somebody else's dream. It was um, odd, actually, but very, very satisfying to, to write. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it.